Hi and welcome. I'm Julianne Cost. The metadata panel is a powerful way to view, edit, filter, and find your photographs. If we look at the metadata panel, we can see that some of the metadata fields can be edited while others cannot. There are several different presets that you can choose from that will display different metadata. If you want to see more information about how an image was created, we can choose the EXIF preset. Now we can see things such as the exposure and focal length, the ISO speed, as well as the metering mode. If we want to view and edit the IPTC information, then we can select that preset. And here we can see the copyright and contact information that we added when we created a metadata preset in the movie Importing Photos from a Camera Card, as well as Importing Photos from a Hard Drive. There's also a large caption preset for captioning photos. And we can even enlarge this by clicking on the edge of the panel and then dragging. If I hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, I can drag it even further. All right, let's go ahead and drag that back. If you're adding titles or shorter captions, you might want to choose the Quick Describe preset. This enables you to add titles as well as captions, but you can also click on the word title and it will show you the recently entered titles that you can choose from. You can also select to clear these recent entries or clear all recent entries. If I were to enter in a title and then wanted to move to the next image while keeping the caption field highlighted, I can hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and tap the right arrow. That advances me to the next image and I can just start typing in the title. All right, let's set this back to the default view. If I just have one image selected, Lightroom is going to show me the metadata for that image. If I select more than one image, then we have the choice to see the metadata for the target photo, the one with the brighter highlight around it, or we can choose selected photos. When I choose selected photos, Lightroom will display mixed next to any of the fields if the values in the metadata differ between the multiple selected images. Now, if you add the same metadata over and over again, you'll wanna create a metadata preset like we did in the videos about importing. In fact, we can see that preset and we could select it from the list and add it to any photos that we might have forgotten to add it to on import. But we can also create additional templates that have information that you might want to apply to a subset of images. I'll choose Edit Presets, and I've created three additional metadata presets that all contain different image usage rights for licensing photos. I'll select this one and then scroll down and we can see that only a single text entry field is checked, and that's where I've entered in this information. So when I apply this preset, it would only change this single entry field. Now you do want to be careful. If you were to check, say for example, the caption field and not enter in any information, this tells Lightroom Classic to clear any information from that field. So if I applied this template to an image that had a caption applied to it, it would remove it. So I'll be sure to uncheck that and then choose done. I don't want to save that change, but I do want to apply the usage rights to these three images. But entering metadata behaves a little bit differently than say entering in a flag pick or a star rating. For example, with these three images selected in the grid view, if I tap two, they would all get the two star rating. But when I return to the metadata preset and I apply this preset, Lightroom Classic will ask me if I want to apply it to all of the selected photos or only the active photo. All right, let's apply it to all of the selected images. I'll return to viewing only the target photo and let's scroll down and select this image. We can see that it has a title already applied, but the next two images do not. If I want to add the same title to all three images, I can select the first image, then select the other two images and choose the sync button. 
Then I can navigate down to the title field, enable it, and then choose to synchronize, and Lightroom will add that title to the other two images. If I want to add the same title to all three of these images, I could also enable Auto Sync by clicking on the switch and then selecting Arctic Turns from my recently added titles. And this time with Auto Sync on, I want to apply this to all of my selected images and I don't need to see this dialog again. All right, let's turn off Auto Sync. And there are a number of fields that have icons to the right of the text entry area. If I click on this icon, it will then invoke features having to do with that field. For example, the field next to file name will bring up the renaming option. If we click next to folder, it would take me to that folder if I wasn't already in it in the folder panel. And if I click next to the capture date, Lightroom Classic will automatically filter based on that date using the metadata attribute. Let's disable that. One thing that the default preset doesn't show is the GPS information. So I'll switch to Quick Describe, move to the Greenland folder, and then select an image that has GPS information on it. When I click to the right, it will take me to the map module and show me on the map where I photographed that image. If we return to library module and I hold down the option key on Mac or the alt key on Windows, and then I click on GPS, it'll take me to Google Maps and show me the location on the map. All right, let's return to the default view. For even more control, we can click on customize and then use the check boxes in order to toggle the visibility of the metadata fields that we want to see then click Arrange in order to arrange the order of the metadata fields, and then save these changes, and the metadata panel will be updated. All right, I'll choose Customize again, and then choose Restore to return to the defaults. Now, by default, Lightroom Classic is saving the metadata changes that we make to an image in the Lightroom catalog. If we wanna save the metadata information like our copyright, as well as ratings and develop settings into the individual photos, then we'll select the photos and choose metadata and then save metadata to file or use Command S on Mac or Control S on Windows. This will save the metadata into the JPEGs, the TIFFs, the PNG, the PSD and DNG files and it will create a separate file for any proprietary raw file format. I'll choose continue, and then I can right click on the image, choose show in finder, and we can see here's the original raw file, and here is the metadata stored in the XMP file. Now if I want to automatically write changes into the files, I can choose the catalog settings. On Windows, this would be under the Edit menu, and under the Metadata area, I would choose to automatically write changes into XMP. Now, when we're ready to export our images, we can choose which metadata fields we want to include on export. Just the copyright, the copyright and contact information, all except for camera raw info, all except for the camera and camera raw information, or all of the metadata. I'll choose copyright and contact info only. And just to be clear, if you choose not to include the camera raw information, the changes that you make to images like in the develop module or in quick develop, they'll still be applied to the image on export. So the image is going to look as you intended it, but the develop settings, like all the slider values will not be embedded in the file. All right, one last item before we wrap up. If you're editing metadata for large volumes of images, it might be useful to click on this eye icon. This will toggle the edit only mode. Now in edit only mode, all fields that are not editable are hidden. So it makes it easier to find and edit the desired metadata fields. But one word of caution in this edit only mode, Lightroom Classic doesn't load the metadata values from the selected files into these metadata fields. 
So for example, if one of these images had a caption applied to it, I would not see that caption here. And if I enter in a new caption, then Lightroom Classic will replace any existing metadata in that field. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.